Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a relationship field to allow clients to select posts on the back end of your WordPress website um, and posts that will be displayed on the front end of the WordPress website using the Oxygen Builder repeater or the Easy Post element. And this is something that's only possible now uh, easily with Oxygen Builder version 3.8 uh, and the advanced queries feature that shipped with it. So the client can choose whatever post they want the repeater to display, whatever group of posts they want the repeater to display, uh, and show it on the front end. They can remove posts from being displayed, they can add posts to that display, and then just update the page and the repeater will update and only show these posts on the front end. This has a ton of use cases and is a lot better uh, than having really complex filters and um, loops and querying custom uh, elements of a page, especially when you need the client to be able to, or the end user to be able to, select individual posts that are displayed on the front end, on the back end. A use case here would be, say, for example, you have a custom post type of project. Um, with that project, you want the client to be able to choose between the materials used in that project. So maybe you have metal, plastic, and aluminum, or steel, plastic, and aluminum, and they want to select steel and plastic for one project. Uh, aluminum and plastic for another project and display that information on the front end of the overarching project post. You would then have this display materials. These would have be all your materials and you just choose between the materials, add it to this side of your relationship field, uh, click update and the front end repeater of that post type would then only display these posts um, showed. And this is using the ACF Pro uh, relationship field and you'll see that um, here this is a, a good description of what this is the field provides search post type taxonomy filtering controls to help find results so the client selects the results of whatever they're looking for uh, and then as the developer of the website we get a nice return of all the post IDs that can then be used um, in the oxygen builder repeater uh, hopefully I didn't confuse you too much with that kind of introduction. I'm going to show you how to do it now um, and it's a lot easier than I just made it sound. So the first thing to do is create a relationship field and assign it to the post that you want to uh, relate a bunch of other posts to. So in this example I've added a field group uh, named it as just demo and then the only field I've added here is a relationship field uh, named it choose posts field type is relationship I filtered it by post type, which means they can only search for the post type of posts. Um, if you have custom post types, this will work with that too. Uh, I've only enabled the search filter. I've shown showed the feature image featured images, and then the return format is set to be post ID. Um, the return format needs to be set to be post ID, but everything else can really be whatever you want. Um, I've applied this field group to post type is equal to page, so this relationship will show up on all pages that the client adds. We can also add it to individual posts, uh, individual pages, stuff like that. Um, but that's more information for ACF in general. So then we go on to our page and first here are all the posts that we have. Uh, and, and just very quickly, you can pull in a post into the repeater or the easy post element by selecting the ID. So in this situation, if you look at the bottom left of the screen, the post ID is 12. Um, so all we need is a post ID to make this thing work, which is exactly what the relationship field returns for us. Um, so then on the actual page or whatever post you've applied this field group to and whatever post you want, the front end of it to be pulling in whatever the client sets on the back end and showing that. Uh, we have the relationship field and we can choose whatever post we want to show on the front end. Um, so in this situation I'm showing one, two, three, four, five posts. Um, and I can choose to show additional ones and I can remove them uh, as I want. So I'm only going to be showing those five posts um, and I'm going to just update the page to show those five posts. And I've actually already built this so if we go on the front end of the page um, we'll see that these five posts that I've selected are sh displayed on the front end of the of the page. And obviously, if you're using a repeater and easy post elements, uh, you would style it to display the proper information, maybe add additional fields like a category or an excerpt or something like that using dynamic data. But this is just an example of you can choose the specific posts you want um, to be shown on the front end. Uh, let's say I remove this, this post that starts with 
UT um, and update the page, you'll notice that that post is found right here. If I refresh the page after updating it on the back end, uh, that page is now gone and it's only showing these specific uh, posts. So that's really uh, kind of like the, how the back end works and how it's displayed on the front end. Now let me show you how to build it as the website creator. So you're gonna either use the repeater or easy post element. We're going to be using the advanced queries feature that shipped with Oxygen Builder 3.8. And there are only two things we need to do here. And these two things are actually really easy to do. Um, and you can pr pretty easily memorize this and use this on a lot of different projects. Hopefully you understand how this could be really helpful in certain situations. Okay, and you'll see that I've already actually built it, so it's showing on the back end as well. But you'll see that the structure is just a repeater, and this could be, again, a repeater and easy post. And to set this up, we're going to go to the repeater settings, query, click on advanced, then click edit query. And then we have two things to set up here. First is post type. Um, in this situation, if we go back to our field group, we've set it so they can only show posts. Um, so I have also included post type of post. Um, in the advanced query. Then the second uh, argument is post in. And this is the important part because post in returns uh, the information for whatever ID you have specified within that post in uh, value. So in this situation, we're returning the IDs of these, if we go into the back end, of these four posts. So that's what the relationship field is doing behind all the pretty styling and uh, drag and drop and point and click, uh, whatever posts are found in the right column of that uh, field, so these four posts, um, in PHP it's just sending out the four uh, IDs associated with that post and then we can just use those IDs to pull in those in, that information into the repeater or easy post element. So we're going to set post in and then we're going to go to data, advanced custom field, and then the ACF, the, I only have one set up right now, is the relationship field, so that's choose posts. We're gonna ch change the separator from nothing to a comma, and then we're going to insert the post object ID. Click insert, uh, and we don't need to add parameter, and then just exit out of that, and then apply the parameters. And then that's how your repeater works. You're good to go um, after setting that advanced query up. As advanced queries goes, as this whole setup goes, it's relatively easy. It just wasn't something you could do in Oxygen Builder 3.8 or 3.7. Now with 3.8 and that dynamic data that we can insert into those queries, um, that's how this is possible and that's how this is working. So very quickly to recap, we're going to uh, create a relationship field using a field group, just add a relationship. Um, apply this field group to whatever main post you want a customer or a client or an end user to be selecting posts on the back end to display on the front end. Um, and then on that specific post or page or whatever you've set, they can go ahead and select whatever post they want to display on the front end. Then just click update after all those posts are there. Um, and this won't allow me to update because oxygen is open, but assuming I did update it. Uh, and then as the developer, you simply just add a repeater, uh, create the query or create the repeater, go to repeater, query, advanced, edit query, and then set the post type of whatever posts or po post or post you're showing, uh, and then set post in, data, advanced custom field, choose posts, or whatever the relationship field is called, separator of comma, and then select the post object ID to insert. And then you'll you'll see that this is only displaying the title because that's the dynamic data that I've applied, but we can pull whatever data we want from this post. Um, so for example, say I want to display the excerpt of each post, I'm just gonna insert the data as a normal repeater or a normal easy posts field. Um, hopefully that was a helpful video for you. Uh, this is a really powerful way to um, pull in specific posts that somebody has specified on the back end rather than automatically querying for say the most recent post or most recently updated post um, or sorting by alphabet or something like that. Um, instead, this is a way for somebody to manually choose what post they want to show on the front end of an Oxygen Builder website. 
Hopefully this was a helpful video. If it was, feel free to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We do a lot of tutorials like this for Oxygen Builder. If you have any additional questions related to Advanced Queries and Oxygen Builder 3.8, definitely leave them in the comments section below. And until the next video, I won't see you. In the next video, I will.